The Earth gives us many things, metal, minerals, plants, but did you know it can also give us energy as well? In fact, energy from the Earth, or geothermal energy, is one of the first forms of renewable energy that people used. Meet Tom Rutkowski. He installs geothermal heat pumps in all types of homes, old homes, newer homes, and even homes that are just getting constructed. With proper maintenance, geothermal heat pumps can last a long time. We have a pretty cool opportunity for you today. Right now, we're in a geothermal pit. And Tom, how far down in the earth are we? We're about six to eight feet on average. Is that typically how far you dig? Yeah, for a geothermal pit system, we want to stay below the frost line. And uh, we generally like to do a couple more feet down just to be sure in case we get a hard you know, uh, winter where it's going to go a little deeper. All right, now let's talk real basic terms on what a geothermal system is and what we see around us here. Sure. So a geothermal system is basically a unit that will sit uh, where you'll typically see a furnace in a home. Uh, that system will either extract or reject heat from the house into the ground. Uh, you'll see behind us the loops going through. Uh, I generally like to explain it as a, a typical system uh, condenser sitting outside for a home rejects all that heat up into the air. With a geothermal system, we do it more efficient, uh, efficiently through our loop system with a methanol solution, and it gets uh, on average about two to three times the efficiency. Okay, now this house obviously is being built from the bottom up. Does that make your job easier? Uh, it does make it a little easier when we're digging a pit like this, um, just because the earth is already gonna get disturbed anyway. Uh, they're gonna have to come back in and rough grade it regardless. Uh, if somebody were doing a retrofit where we're taking a furnace and air out and put it in geo, probably wouldn't be the way to go because you have to replant, reseed. In that type of scenario, we'd bring in our horizontal boring machine and go underneath the house or not disturb the earth as much. Uh, however, this type of application does save uh, the customer usually a few thousand dollars on average. The work outside the home is just one part of a geothermal heat pump. With new home construction, you can take advantage of other aspects of geothermal energy, like running pipes for in-floor heating. So once you've finished all of this work outside, is there a particular area in the home where everything's linked together? There sure is. So each of these loops you see behind us here, we're going to bring in individually into the mechanical room and then manifold them on the wall there. So if something were ever happen, you can just ball valve the one off and you'll still have heating and cooling. Interesting. Let's talk about efficiency of the system. How efficient is geothermal compared to a traditional system? Sure. So on a conventional system, uh, on the air conditioning side, without getting too crazy with your spending, you're going to hit probably between 16 and 18 sear. Uh, on a geothermal system, uh, you're going to be averaging anywhere from 30 to 36 sear. So you're going to be a little over double. And then uh, on the heating side, you know, a furnace is going to be about 96% efficient. On uh, geothermal, they measure it with a COP. Uh, so you're going to be anywhere from, we'll say, 4.5 to 5 COP. What it'll equate to is about a third of the energy cost for your heating. Considerable savings then. Absolutely. You may think you need a large yard to install a geothermal heat pump in an existing home, but Tom says that's not the case. In this home, Tom is running the pipe work to the side of the home. They dig a pit so they can watch the pipes drill deep into the ground, but sometimes they hit a snag. Oh, there's plenty of strange things we come across. Uh, you know, when you come in uh, to an older home, there's always little goodies buried throughout the yard, random septic tanks that were abandoned, old cisterns, that sort of thing. But once the digging is done, then the challenge becomes connecting it all up inside the house. Uh, so the things are going to be a little different uh, as compared to a conventional system. You're going to see the manifold uh, where we're going to have all of our pipes coming up in. It'll manifold and then go straight to the unit. Where the furnace is sitting, that's where you're going to see your uh, packaged geothermal system. Uh, the duct work is going to look very similar. We'll tie it all back in so it looks just like a furnace and evaporator coil on a normal home. Now talk to us a little bit about the cost for installing a geothermal system compared to a traditional heating and cooling system. Sure. So a conventional system for new home construction, you're going to average about twelve to $15,000, uh, depending on what you put in, uh, and that's including you know, putting in the infrastructure, the duct work that goes along with it. With geothermal, we're going to be about 10000 more for the contract. Uh, because you are putting loops in the ground for that initial uh, investment. Uh, however, with utility rebates and tax incentives, brings it a little closer to about a $5,000 more than conventional. Um, and then, in addition, we see that uh, your home value is going to actually go up about ten dollars to $12,000 on average. Wow, that's significant. And the energy savings, right? Huge. We did a study before the, the home show. 
Uh, had actual customers call in, give us our utility uh, numbers here. Uh, for a 1,500 square foot home, people were averaging about 14 to 1,500 for the utilities for heating, cooling, and hot water for the year. On geothermal, there were about four to 500. Wow, that's incredible. Thanks, Tom. No problem. Many utility companies offer rebates for the installation of a geothermal heat pump. Check with your utility company to find out if you qualify. And if you'd like more details on how a geothermal heat pump works, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.